Hey guys and girls, welcome back to East 8, Lacrimus of Dana. Um, where we left off, uh, apparently, um, I think someone, uh, was seen leaving the village. Um, after talking to everyone and trying to figure things out, someone was seen leaving the village. So we're gonna go out here, we're gonna find out and see, uh, if, uh, who it is and to tell them to come back, basically. Could they be? I wonder. Uh oh, wait. Watch out! That. Stop moving. What? What is it? Not good. Don't move. Hold on. It's like a trip wire of some kind. Adol picked up a faded thread like object. Oh, that's it! Damn, he tried to take her hat off with that thing. This is. It looks like a steel wire, but what is it doing here? I don't know. Well, someone clearly set it up here. Is something wrong, guys? Aaron. I told Aaron what I had just what had just happened. This steel wire. Do you know something? Yeah, but why is it here? This is a trap that's used by Roman troops. Huh? What's going on? It's a trap that's set by using special steel wire and tree branches. I'm absolutely positive that this is the same as the seal wire the military uses. If you step on the trap, then this thing pops out. You were lucky. You could have been decapitated. Uh, oh no. So we were simply being lured out. Hold on. Is Nameless affiliated with the Roman military? Yeah, that seems highly probable. Huh? Then that means... Hmm? Tch, you're right. That means I'm a suspect. But if I'm the mastermind, then I, I wouldn't have revealed that trick to you. He's right. Unless he wanted to make himself... Make us get off the trail of him. Uh, but we'll say you're right, just because. Damn. Either way, I don't like it. Well, where are you going? I'm going to report to Captain Barbaros. I'm sharing my info with you. Like we planned. I'll prove my innocence and find out who Nameless is. How ridiculous. Haha, <laughs> I see. I don't think this is a, ma a matter to haha -ha at. She almost just had her head clear cut, cut off. I don't think Aaron is the suspect either. Nameless, jeez, how annoying. Still, sounds like you managed to gather some good information. As Lick said, Nameless takes actions that will hit you deep down in your heart. Don't forget that we're dealing with a very clever individual. 
and the weird feeling Captain Barbaros felt when he was attacked. I heard that Namus wasn't at close range when the captain was cut by was cut, but if the weapon he used wasn't a knife but a steel wire trap, then everything adds up. Yes, that's true. And because they use the, these traps, we can assume they're affiliated with the Roman Empire as a military. All we need to know now is whether it's someone within the village or an unknown outsider. I don't know anyone affiliated with the Roman Empire. Then we should investigate the possibility that it's someone we don't know. Anyway, we don't want any more victims. By the way, Laxia, are your wounds healing up alright? Yes, thanks to Sahad. The cut wasn't that deep. I plan on asking Dr. Kirogard to examine it later. Hmm. Dr. Kirogard might just be a prodigy. I was wounded yesterday, but take a look at how much I've already healed. Wait a minute. I remember that doctor saying something interesting. He said he was from somewhere uncommon. Huh. What was the name of the country? It was a country that Adol wanted to visit. Altaga. Oh, jeez. What was it again? Indeed, he mentioned having stayed in the kingdom of Altagla not too long ago. Hey, hold up. What'd you just say? Dr. Kierogard said he was staying in Altago not too long ago. What's wrong with that? You dolt. Altago is at war with my home country, the Roman Empire. It's not a place that an, any ordinary traveler can enter at will. Yeah, not even Adol and I have been able to set foot on Alta Altago soil yet. Hmm. The select few people that can enter Altago freely are... A handful of important people. Or soldiers affiliated with the Roman Empire. Give me a second, guys. Sorry about that, guys. Uh, had to do a little uh, dog duty. Anyway. Huh? That can't be right, though. Dr. Kierkegaard isn't someone important or a soldier. He's just a doctor. A doctor in the military. What if he were akin to a field medic? I, I see. Hmm. It all makes sense. 
No, Dr. Kierogard is such a kind man. He couldn't be. He's gone. Looks like the doctor's out. He was here when we came to gather information just a bit ago. If he's not here, then we have time to look around for something else. Is it around here, perhaps? What are you? Bingo. More of that wire? Th that is... Yep. It's the same steel wire from the trap that nearly decapitated you, Laxia. This serves as evidence to support that he is indeed the culprit. Captain. It's unfortunate, but... I ask that you capture Dr. Kierogard before he victimizes someone else, Adol. I understand. I'm sorry to make you do this. I'm going with you. I bet the doctor is still in the village. Be careful. We will. Let's go. Gotta get him. I'm gonna assume he's up here. Yeah, there he is. Damn. Kiergaard. A nameless slasher. <laughs> it was you, Doctor. Why? Cool. How beautiful. Just a while ago, you castaways didn't even know each other. But now, in order to survive, and your bonds have grown. I can't find any other word than you. What are you trying to say? But do you think you can see it this way? That beauty would never have been born if we hadn't washed ashore. Or we might like that. Listen to anything he says. He's a mass murderer. I'm gonna shot us. This is a deserted island. There's nowhere for you to run. Oh my gosh, what? Jeez. guy's insanely fast. His skills are nuts. And he's gone. Damn. He got away. Adol, pursue him immediately. Right. Peril, follow Dr. Kierogard from the sky and tell Adol his location. Roger, I'll tell you where Kierogard is. Very good, we're counting on you. 
peril will guide you along the path Dr. Kierkegaard took to escape. Please, stay on that path. I see. You're good, Captain Bobros. After Dogi and I handle things here, we'll follow behind you. That's fine, but what about your wound? This will be the moment of truth, indeed. If we lose sight of him, and he absconds, he has the potential to become a greater threat. I would like Dogi and the others to guard the village exits while everyone here gives chase. Understood. Please take care of yourself. Our opponent is nameless, Adol. Don't underestimate him. Roger. Be careful. Freaking nameless. Kind of freaking out right here. Here, guard, east, east. Looks like he went east. Let's hurry, Adol. All right. Let's give chase. Adol, not this way. Here, guard, east. He went east. That's not east. I thought that was east. Okay. All right. All right. Out of my way. Giving chase to an actual criminal that's, like, insanely powerful. Straight ahead. Oh, there's the marker. I see it. Where is he? I don't see him down there. Caught up. Where is Nameless? We haven't found out yet. I think Carol is pursuing him right now. Now! Now! Looks like he came back. Now, Carol! Girl? What? Oh no. Who's that? Someone's on the ground. Could she be a castaway? She looks very young. I don't remember her on the boat though. No! This bastard with his stupid threads. God, he's psycho. Capturing that wandering brat was worth it after all. This kid is a decoy. I can't believe he did this. Let's take care of your wounds, Captain. That might be pointless. From the looks of it, there's a high probability that your femoral region is empty. Oh no. Captain. Please. Please capture. Please don't tell me he just died. Okay, he okay. Counting Sir Carlin. Now then, please excuse me. He just fainted, though. I hate... Oh. Hold on. We gotta go after him. 
Someone has to get this girl back, though. And st or at least stay with them. Barbara is painful. Hey, Kierkegaard, defeat Kierkegaard. <sighs> I have to stop the bleeding. What are you doing? Get moving. You're going to waste all our efforts. All right, all right, I'm sorry. I'm on, I'm on my way. Oh, my bad, my bad, my bad, my bad. I'm lost, okay? I'm sorry. Kira guard. Oh, this is a dead end. Is this gonna be a fight? I knew that you would follow me, Adol. Your eyes are clear, like the sparkly sky on a cloudless night. A worthy target? Are you going after Adol next? It won't be easy for castaways to survive on this island. The probability of escaping is very low. You either become desperate prey for the beast, or you lose yourself and start an unsightly fight amongst your fellow castaways. But you and the village the captain built for the castaways A human that bears the burden of evil? Yes, I'm the complete opposite of Adam, who is very honest. People can only move forward if there is territory to walk on. In order for anything to progress, there must be two opposing forces, good and evil. These constructs exist so that we can frame society and history. If evil didn't exist, and everything were good. Existence of evil has always been hated and has never been accepted. Don't you think that's irrational? I never thought anyone in this world could be evil to the core, but I too believe that I've reached an understanding from talking to you. The conflict between good and evil is inevitable. Damn, here we go. Is fighting the only way? Get a hold of yourself! We can't afford to lose you! She's right. We have no choice! Nameless Slasher. Here, guard Weissman. Oh, God. Oh, my gosh. Look at those wires! I'm scared. Am I slowed? Right now, I think I'm like slowed down. I am slowed down. What is on me? What is that? I 
I don't know what status that is that his wires have, but he did that to me and it was not pretty. Ah. Oh my gosh, what is happening? Get up, get up, battle. Gotcha. And I hit 30 from that. Chomp him. Oh my god. The dino saved the day. What is this? What happened? Why is he laughing? I think got dinner. <laughs> ah. He got taken off. Me neither. Alright, I'm gonna end it there, guys. Thanks for watching. Leave a like, subscribe, share with a friend. I hope you guys enjoyed that um, battle. Next time we head back to the captain, we'll see uh, the aftermath of the attack. Um, maybe find out who that little girl is as well. Um, lots of stuff coming up. See you then.